Good morning, KSA Chris here, Real Estate Blitz. Um, you know, there's a reason why I haven't been doing any videos. I think I've become increasingly frustrated with, there's a lot of videos. There's a lot, you know, it, it's, it's, it's crazy when I w look at Instagram. Um, everybody, uh, you have some dude that looks like he's like 20, uh, that all of a sudden is telling you, yeah, watch my stuff. I'm going to teach you how to kill it. Uh, I'll give you leads. And it's just like, I don't know, it just turns my stomach. So I just have been really focused on, on uh, our team, KSA, and I, I just don't want to get lumped in with these other goofballs. So I, I am going to be, produ I, I've been avoiding it just because I just feel like I'm just another goofball. And anybody that's been watching the Real Estate Blitz for an extended period of time knows uh, the videos that I create have always been about just kind of explaining, expressing what we're doing out here in Southern California, um, what's working for us. And if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, great. Um, and it was it started off as my way of trying to create content information for our team. So I didn't have to individually work with every agent all the time. They had information that they could go and look at. Um, so I didn't have to explain the same thing 30 times uh, amongst agents on the team. So I, I kind of feel like um, in order for me to keep creating content, I need to do it with intent. Uh, so I'm going to be just doing videos and I'll be doing them pretty much every day now. That's focused just on our team in Southern California. So I know this may uh, irritate some people, but I just don't care. <laughs> Right. I'm not trying to upset anybody. Uh, I just don't care. I, I, I just think it's so goofy uh, how content creation has gone in some ways. And I'll talk about some of it because I'm going to be explaining this and expressing it to some of our team. I'm seeing some of the younger agents wanting to fall into this goof trap. Um, and I, like when I'm in specific, if you follow me on Facebook, um, not so much uh, not so much real estate blitz, but my pat my actual page. Uh, if you for one, if you want to just see some really freaking great real estate memes, but uh, I always kind of pick on these these TikTok dance videos, and the reason why it's kind of like, okay, what's the point, purpose, and intent? You know, here you are, your real estate agent, you're trying to connect with individuals uh, through being of service. We provide a service. Our service is to help people buy and sell homes. Uh, you're looking to create a, a quality experience uh, for people that are doing that. And uh, your way of doing that is to create a, a, a freaking TikTok dance video. And I look, I get it. I'm sure, you know, if you listen to Gary V or, you know, I'm not I'm not knocking, jumping on uh, different variations of, of social media and uh, doing things, you know, to get eyeballs. But that's I think that's the key. And I've done I've done videos where it's really about eyeballs. So I posted up something the other day. I got, uh, I don't know, like 300, 400 shares and and just unbelievable amounts of people that liked, shared, commented, tons of comments. It's about eyeballs. So if you're creating this freaking dance video of this new dance that you came up with in your suit um, to talk about a deal that you don't have um, and nobody likes it except for like the other, you know, 18 year olds that are your friends from high school, it just seems stupid. Uh, you know, and I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, 10 years from now, when those people become buyers, I would have wished I started doing TikTok dance videos. Um, but it just, it, it doesn't, like, why don't you create content information that's going to be of value, whether it's to a buyer or to a seller, and then figure out how do you put it in front of those individuals? Or for me, you know, I create content for our agents. Uh, so our agents can find success in, 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 in the process of doing that. Other agents uh, have found my videos and they watch them. Uh, I've, I've found uh, it also has helped me with recruiting, bringing new people onto our team. There's a point, purpose, and intent. I'm putting out information to help agents find success in their real estate journey. And then they end up wanting to come over and work with us here at KSA, Kimstone Associates uh, in Southern California. And it's freaking rad. But I don't know, man. So I'm going to talk a little bit about a lot, uh, a lot of that stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to, just because I've been so, I mean, it started about a year, two years ago. And I think that's when I sort of stopped creating these videos. And every time I'd start to get motivated to do them again, I just, I would see something on Instagram or on Facebook. I'm just like, it just made me sick to my stomach. Um, you know, and I, I guarantee a lot of these people that are putting out this content, it's like, I've done it a couple of times. A couple of them that I knew I was here in Southern California. Just go up, go look up their numbers. It's like, ugh. 
Okay, so you haven't done anything. Uh, you can look up our team's numbers and what we do. I'm just going to focus on creating content for us, for our people. If it's a win for somebody else that's watching it, awesome. I'm glad you got something out of it. But um, I think that's the only way I'm going to continue to move forward or be able to move forward and feel motivated about creating stuff is if I'm creating it for our team, for our agents, for what they need to do here in Southern California to find success. And again, if other people get something out of it, freaking rad, man. All right. That's all I got today. Appreciate y'all. I'll talk to you later.